Already today we will be talking about synchronizing timer. Okay, for simplicity, let's disable this one and let's have uh, let's have uh, let's duplicate these. Name this as three. Name this as four. Okay, let's get the synchronizing timer already. So there are a lot of times that you will come across a situation where uh, where you will be given uh, a scenario where it will be asked from you that we want to hit one request with certain number of concurrency or simultaneousness. That means, for example, like let's say uh, there is one uh, we are we are having ten users, okay, and all these ten users have to hit call number three concurrently or simultaneously. Until then, this call three has to hold off. On those 10 users for example let's say if first users come uh, he calls call one and then he calls uh, this call two and uh, then he should wait on this call three but not call this or not fire this call three unless there are 10 users uh, all 10 users come to this call three and right at that time this call tree is going to be fired simultaneously with all 10 users okay okay now we have to have the synchronized time in that specific call to make sure that this happens okay right here you can see the number we will give 10 because we want to hit this specific request uh, with 10 users okay and all these 10 users have to call them okay let's make it five for the simplicity or let's just make it three so three okay so now i'm gonna f uh, f fire it already so what exactly is going to happen now you guys can see the very first user came in they did one two the second user one two the third user one two and then every user was on hold or or in other words our call three was on hold until it got all these three users here then it fired all uh, three uh, calls simultaneously and then it ended with call four okay now there's another uh, another element or not an element but another option that is timeout in milliseconds that means how long do we want this synchron that sync time to wait for all these three users to come in let's say uh, let's say the very first user came in on the very first microsecond or let's say after 10 microseconds the very first user came the second user came after 20 microseconds the third user came after 30 microseconds okay so let's say if we put if we put if we put two seconds here okay so what it will do, it will wait for all these three users for two seconds. The moment it the two seconds expire, whatever number of users this sync time has or this call has wait has on waiting status, it will let them go. Okay. So this is the maximum time of this is the maximum time that it will wait for the users to come to this rendezvous point okay 
So usually this kind of scenario will only happen when you have mul a lot, too many number of users. Uh, usually uh, this is the case when uh, we are doing some kind of a spike testing that's the time when we do it or if we have some specific scenario where we have to make sure that the certain number of uh, users come to that specific location and all the users hit the request at the same time uh, other than that uh, this sync time is not usually uh, required okay thank you have a good day and please like and subscribe